You're chilling with C Note the Greatest. It's on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, to me, it seems like you guys are having a lot of trouble getting all of you guys' badges. Well, today your boy got the solution, alright? Now, we're going to take a quick peek at all the badges that I got for my big man. Now, these badges were kind of hard to come by. It was a little bit of a grind. But what I'm going to give you guys today are the best tips and the best method to use to get these badges all in one day. So we're going to go ahead right into it. Now, first things first, your best friend on grinding these badges out will be the practice facility. This method is just very convenient to all players, all right? You get to choose the badge that you want to work on. And then it'll give you a list of drills that you can just choose from. Now, when you find the badge that you want to work on, you choose the drill, you complete the drill, and it gives you points towards that badge. But on top of that, I was also playing a ton of my career. Now, this year, my career is the best way to grind for badges. Don't try to get your badges at the park. It's a lot harder, all right? It is very hard to get all of your badges the way that you want them and park. And that even goes for the Pro-Am. Now, the Pro-Am, a lot of people are just grinding for badges on these game modes, and these really aren't the places for that. But yes, a lot of you guys probably don't like the My Career that much, but the thing is, without you playing My Career, one, you're missing out on getting these badges really fast, and two, you're also missing out on a lot of potential VC. A lot of VC comes out of these endorsements and also these games that you play for your My Career. But that's going to be a whole different video. 50 likes on this video and I got you guys with the best VC methods. I'm going to save that one. But let me go ahead and get right back on track. So when it comes to these training facility practices, you get three practices after every My Career game that you complete. Now, I'm going to tell you a couple tips on these My Career games. For the difficulty, if you guys did not do the rookie glitch, what you guys want to do is play on that My Park Online difficulty. Now, that is by far the most easiest difficulty that you can play on right now. Alright? Hopefully, the rookie glitch is coming soon. I'm trying to figure out the best ways to do it. But, that is the difficulty that you guys want to be playing on. Now... For the quarter length, it doesn't really matter what quarter length that you play on. Just know that the more time that you have in those quarter lengths determines how many times you can spam that certain badge. My career is pretty easy. All you have to do is know what to look for. Now, for you sharpshooters out there, all you got to do is jack up shots. I rather risk my record on my career rather than to risk my record on Pro-Am or at the park. That's just me. I don't want to go out there with no doo-doo record because I was badge grinding. That's just me. But I do believe that the best method to use is either 5-minute quarters or you can do the glitch to make it 20-minute quarters. Now, the glitch is very simple. I already have it out on my channel. So go ahead and watch that video. But for you guys that can't find it, I will leave it down below in the description for you guys. Now, later on, you'll be able to see that I do play on one-minute quarters. I got most of my badges. I only have a few badges left that I actually have to max out. So, your boy's really not badge grinding for real. I'm more in it for the VC. So, just make sure that you guys are actually taking advantage of this practice facility. Now, you can go ahead and quickly get through with these My Career games and then go and do those three practices. Now, another tip. After you go ahead and complete those three practices, all you have to do is go outside and go and talk to the guy at the lemonade stand. Now, after your weird conversation or your weird encounter with him, he will give you one more training facility practice. Use it. Use all of these to your advantage and you can get your badges the fastest way possible. All right? It's going to take a lot of my career. When you grind out on the My Career, you can call for the ball when you want it, you can pass when you want it, you can set those screens, you can do whatever you want. You really don't have to sit there and depend on anybody else but yourself. Now this by far is the fastest way to get all of your badges. It doesn't matter if they're Hall of Fame, if they max out in gold, you can get these badges quickly. I'm talking about in one day. 
Now, if you guys need any more help with getting all of your badges, you guys let me know down below in the comment section. Or even if there is a specific badge that you guys want me to do a video on, let me know down below. I will help you guys out. That is what I'm here for, bruh. That is what your boy is here for. But I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. I had to help you guys. I had to say something, bruh. A lot of you guys have been tuning into the streams on Twitch just asking me, yo, how do I get these badges so fast? Well, I had to just go ahead and make this video for you guys. So I hope you guys learned something from this, bruh. Definitely use this method. Now, like I said before, if there is any badges that you want me to make another video on, just let me know down below in the comment section. But if you're new, go ahead and subscribe to your boy. Join this CTG Nation and subscribe to your boy. Last thing before I get up out of here, bro. Before I close this video up, if you guys are not following me on Twitch, follow me on Twitch, bro. The Twitch streams be popping. We be streaming every day. Follow me on Twitch and also turn those notifications on. To find my Twitch is very simple. All you have to do is either look up at the screen or you just got to go and locate it down below in the description. Hopefully, I'll see you guys the night when I stream. But thank you guys for watching, and like always, I appreciate you guys, bruh. I appreciate you. But until next time, guys, it's been your boy C-Note, and I'm out.